Good morning, I'm Jane. Today I'll be presenting research from Universidade de Vassouras about biodiesel consumption in Brazil and the innovative use of virtual environments in biofuel education. This study combines statistical analysis with technological advancement in environmental education. Biodiesel's journey began in 1853 with Patrick Duffy in Ireland. However, its significance became apparent during World War II from 1941 to 1945, when petroleum scarcity drove innovation in alternative fuels. This historical context laid the foundation for Brazil's current biodiesel program. Today, Brazil's biodiesel program focuses on two crucial aspects, regional development and environmental sustainability. We've seen notable increases in both production and consumption during 2022 and 2023, with particular emphasis on reducing greenhouse gas emissions and enhancing energy security. The research objective is clearly defined, to create an interactive simulation of biodiesel plant production. This study was structured in three distinct phases, comprehensive literature review, data collection, and statistical analysis using Minitab software. This systematic approach ensures robust and reliable results. The research methodology centered on data collection from Brazil's National Petroleum, Natural Gas, and Biofuels Agency, ANP, website. We focused specifically on data from January 2022 through January 2023, utilizing Minitab version 20.0 for our statistical analysis. This tool provided the precision needed for our quantitative assessment. The ANP data revealed fascinating consumption patterns measured in millions of liters of biodiesel. These measurements provided our baseline for understanding consumption trends across the studied period, offering insights into Brazil's evolving energy landscape. Our analysis revealed distinct differences in mean consumption between 2022 and 2023. We employed the Kolmogorov Smirnov test for normality, which proved crucial for our subsequent statistical analyses. This approach helped us establish the statistical significance of our findings. Using the Shapiro Wilk method, we obtained a p value greater than 0.100 exceeding our established 5% significance level. This led us to accept the null hypothesis, confirming that our data followed a normal distribution. This was essential for validating our statistical approach. The Levine test yielded p-values of 0.017 and 0.015 with Bonnet, both below our 5% significance threshold. This led us to accept the alternative hypothesis, indicating heteroseedasticity in our data groups. This finding influenced our choice of subsequent statistical tests. The non-parametric Mann-Whitney test revealed a p-value of 0.000, significantly below our 5% threshold. This confirmed substantial differences between the means, validating our initial observations about consumption patterns. Our findings demonstrate several key points. A significant increase in Brazilian biodiesel consumption, enhanced sustainable practices in the energy sector, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, and successful diversification of Brazil's energy matrix. I'd like to conclude by acknowledging the support of Universidade de Vassouras, FAPERJO for their research funding, and the Professional Master's Program in Environmental Sciences. Their contributions made this comprehensive study possible.